people newer to wine are confused and, and really actually intimidated by French wine. Actually, uh, this, this holds true for people regardless of how long uh, they've been drinking wine. You know, especially uh, those who have um, sort of stuck with U.S. wines. This has a lot to do with the fact that they don't know what's in the bottle. Most frequently, it doesn't say anything on the bottle that tells you what you're getting ready to drink. In the next few minutes, we're going to take the mystery out of, of, of the Burgundy and Bordeaux regions, and this will get you a long way to understanding French wines. Keep in mind, at any time, if you like what you hear, click like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there's a new post. Also, make sure you share this with your friends. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, number one, Burgundy and its wines. With the exception of an occasional renegade producer uh, who, who breaks the French tradition and requirements, in Burgundy, if it's red, it's a Pinot Noir. Now, sometimes it says Pinot Noir on the bottle. Most of the time, it doesn't. I'm showing both red and white wine, uh, white Burgundies, with the varietal actually on the label. Now, here's a, a quick heads up. Burgundy is the, the English translation for the French word Bourgogne. If you see the word Bourgogne or Burgundy on the bottle, it's a Burgundy wine and it's a Pinot Noir. So if you like Pinot Noir, then Burgundy's for you. By the way, in the entire wine industry, the bottles that are shaped like this, you see how this has low shoulders? They're designated or they're designed that way for a reason. This is known as a Bordeaux bottle. Do you see how it has high shoulders? The bottles are, are uh, and the shoulders are, are there for a reason. Uh, you can learn more about that actually in my, my video, wine bottles, the big three, Burgundy, Bordeaux, and Alsace. All three of those bottles are shaped completely different and they're there for a reason. Now back to Burgundy Pinot Noir. Uh, what you have with the Pinot Noir is something that is both light in color and lower in tannins. Now next to a Burgundy, it looks more delicate. You, you, it, it may be difficult for you to see, but there's a, you, if you are close, you can see the difference. You can also taste the difference. Pinots are very flavorful, but are lighter and more delicate in your mouth. Let's get to number two, Bordeaux. Red Bordeaux wine is made from a blend of five grapes, not necessarily all at the same time. The three most prevalent are Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Cabernet Franc. Now the other two are Petit Verdot and Malbec. Now Cabernet Sauvignon uh, brings big tannins, but the Merlot and the Cab Franc uh, soften the Cab's tannins because the two are lower in tannins and they also give the wine a little bit darker color. If you like nice, layered, flavorful, complex reds, then Bordeaux may be for you. Now, unlike the, the thin skins of Burgundy's Pinot Noirs, you'll find more color, flavor, and tannins in the wines from Bordeaux. If Pinot are too delicate for you and cabs are too big and overpowering, then Bordeaux is an excellent option. Number three, white wines. When people talk about Burgundy and Bordeaux wines, they're usually talking about red wines. However, both regions produce some absolutely wonderful dry white wines. Now generally, if it's white and comes from Burgundy, it's a Chardonnay. Typically, Burgundy, Burgundy wines, easy, are, are clean and crisp with very little or no oak influence. Usually, Bordeaux whites are a blend of grapes, mostly Sauvignon Blanc, blended with Simeon. Now, by the way, the, the tip at the end of this video will enable you to determine which red Bordeaux wines will suit you best. Stay tuned for that one. Again, for white Burgundies, is Chardonnay. Bordeaux is a mouth-watering Sauvignon Blanc Simeon blend. Folks, it doesn't get much simpler than that. Oh, well, there you have it. We just simplified Burgundy and Bordeaux. 
Hang in there for the quick tip at the end. But first, thanks so much for, for uh, investing the time to, to watch this video. If you got something out of it, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the little bell so you'll be notified when I post other videos. All right, are you ready for the important tip? When I first got started trying to, to understand more about French wines, I was confused with the, the, the whole Bordeaux thing. Wines from, from the region are either mostly cabs with some of the other four grape varietals that I mentioned earlier, or they're mostly Merlot with some of the other four. Now to help me keep it straight, I came up with a little trick. I hope you find this helpful. Now the Bordeaux region is on a river. It, it's called the, the uh, Grand Estuary. If you want more Merlot, because you like lower tannins and it also goes better with more foods, you'll migrate towards a right bank Bordeaux. As time goes by, you learn the names of the villages that produce these wines and look for those village names on the bottle. These right banks include, or these right bank villages include, Francec, Cassillon, Parmerol, and saint Emilion. Now, on the other hand, if you want more Cabernet Sauvignon because you like the boldness and more tannin, then you'll lean towards the left bank of, of Bordeaux. Again, as time goes by, you'll learn that uh, villages' names that are uh, producing them, uh, which are Medoc, Margot, Graves, saint Julien, and, and others. Now, when I first started, at that time, I was partial to left bank Cabernet uh, and, and less of the right bank. So I'm left-handed and the, I liked Cabernets. So Bordeaux Reds uh, with more Cab came from the left bank. Accordingly, my focus was then on left bank Cab Merlot. <laughs> you know, it's nothing fancy, but it worked for me. I hope that's, that my trivia gives you a little bit of direction on how to determine which bank you want uh, uh, your Bordeaux wine from. Well, there you have it. Bordeaux and Burgundy made simple. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, cheers. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Also, click here to check out our new online shop. We have a great lineup of wine-related items that will help you get the most out of your wine experience. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.